Hello. So we are back first day. And today we have a Lenovo. A Lenovo laptop to be fixed. This is a Lenovo 430. And was booked in with not turning on liquid damage. Okay. Actually it is turning on. Okay, let's power up. Charger is plugged in, pressing the power button. And it is coming on, you can see the, the backlight on the power button. Beeping twice, we can't see anything on the screen, yeah? So if I check, I can see some writing there. But it's no backlight, that's the idea. So I, I want to just do this video about the backlight because there are so many issues with the backlight. Water damage or whatever is there or happened so many times so let's learn one more time about the backlight yeah first what is important is to understand how the screen is working you have the ribbon cable from the board to the screen the screen is split on two one is the picture one is the backlight the picture has nothing like nothing to do with the backlight yeah so the picture, data lines, and you, there you have a 3.3 power line, yeah? And you have the, the, the backlight, which is 19 volts, and you have two more signal, which is the dim signal and the power on, and they are coming from the Super IO chip, okay? And also you have the 19 volts for the inverter. So what do we care about this free signal? Because we have picture, so our problem is the backlight, okay? Free signals, what you have to check. So I will power up the lab, power off the laptop. It is on. Now it's off. Now let's check together. Try to find first the 19 volts. Yeah. Let me switch on the microscope. Now looking on the screen connector, we have no schematic. Yeah, like always. So, the way how you have to identify the pins is the, 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 the power pin trucks, yeah, the power pins usually are uh, more than one, yeah. So, if you have two pins together, possible to be a, a power line, yeah. So, if you, if you are checking here, two pins together, yeah you can see there we have two pins together there and here we have two pins together and these two pins are together and all four are together okay so probably i will check there first so we have the the probe on the ground here and those pins here Check on the multimeter. Check on the multimeter on the screen. 20 volts. And the laptop is off. Yeah. That's I always told you. Unplug the charger and the battery when you are playing with the screen connector. Because you always have voltage there. So here we have 20 volts on all four pins. And here we have nothing. Let's power up the laptop. Let's see. Let's reset the bias. This is a Lenovo, so it can be tricky. Bias is reset. Plugging back the BIOS battery. Plugging back the charger. It is coming on. Possible the keyboard is not working because of the liquid damage. So it's beeping. 
is still on let's power off but the power button is working so it is switching off okay let's switch on it is switching on beeping but nothing on the screen okay so what do we know till now yeah we know we have 19 the next we have to take out the screen and try to fix it so if we have 19 now it's all about the other two signal the power on signal and the dim if our zero the screen will be off I don't know about the dim one but it's important to be about 3.3 .3 volts both obviously we don't have the screen schematic it's looking good I can't see any liquid damage here the screen was wasn't open I didn't open the screen the problem is again even now I see the connector I don't know nothing I have no schematic so where I should look for the signals yeah that's the idea of the video so it's nothing what we can see here we have to open the screen we have to check inside okay we have to open the screen and check inside on the board possible to be some test points possible not okay so we have the inverter here let's see together so here we have the inverter okay we can see the coil we can see the screen connector here okay and a fuse that fuse usually it's on, it's on the 19 volts and probably it is you can see on the, on the the marks on the board you see this test point is saying vled vled which is 19 it has a fuse let's check the fuse together that mode And the fuse is good, you can see on the multimeter zero zero. Yeah, <laughs> it's never the fuse. <laughs> okay, so the fuse is good. The next signals, let's see if we have on the board any markers. V out, okay, that's for uh, LEDs. Uh, no, I can't see anything here. I can't see any mark on the board yes I do I do power look here at test point same power you can see here power and the dim where is the dim should be one more are free here more but I don't know what they are doing can be the feedback form from the, the uh, from the backlight FB, FB4, FB1 if possible so what do we have, what is here what is saying hmm. can be this the second one I can't I can't see exactly what he's saying there. V something with V. 
VPLE. Hmm. Well, let's check first the power one. Let's check first the power one, okay? Let's plug the charger. Can I plug the charger? So the charger is plugged in. Let's power up the laptop. The laptop is on. Let's switch on the volt. Volt. And let's see together, yeah? Where's the 19? And we do have... We have... 20 volts. You can see on the multimeter, 20 volts. And the power here... We have 3.4. Okay, that's bad. So we do have 3.4. The screen still has no backlight. Okay, so maybe it is a screen. Let's see on the output of this coach Scott key diode. We have 20 volts, okay. What about here? Here, okay, so probably this is some feedback. Okay, that's bad. So the, the, the super IO is sending the signal to power up the, the inverter, but the inverter is not on. So either the screen is faulty, either the other the other uh, the other signal is missing, the dim one, which I have no idea where it is. Here we have more test points, which I don't know what they are doing. Probably like how I said, there are feedback from the backlight. Here we have something with one volt. Okay. Maybe the, the, the test point is on the other side of the board. Let's check on the other side of the screen, yeah? So I'll take the charger out. Oh yeah, here are more things. So... How can I do it? Let me unplug the screen connector. Let's check together. No, I can't see anything, like any test point. have a test point VGH but based on the capacitor probably it's the 19 volts one or the output which probably is around 30 40 volts so it's not this one and we don't have another one you see that's a case when your signal is missing it's not missing it is there but it's not marked has no mark on the board. They said probably it's not so important. But they put a test point. So okay, so on the on the left pins, let's see what is left here. You know how we can find, we can uh, put a multimeter, I'll take the beeping one, 
So I will check. I will check. Let's see this. This is going to ground. I'll check with my beeping one, yeah? You can't see that one. So that's ground. This is not ground. So this resistor, if this resistor goes to my, my screen connector, I'm oh, sorry. So the pin from the chip is coming here. One resistor to the ground, one resistor is going somewhere. So if this is coming from my, my connector, that means that's my signal. And no, it's not coming from my screen connector. No, so it's not this one. This pin is coming from here, is here, okay. Let's see this one. Yes, so this one, it is coming from my screen connector, okay? This one. The only signal which is coming from the screen connector, it's exactly what I told you. So this is the power on. And this is the dim one, probably, but it's not saying here, yeah? So I'll plug the screen back. Let's plug the screen. So I'll plug the charger now. Let me plug the charger. Let's press the power on button. Power on. The laptop is on. Let's get the on-screen multimeter. Let's check the signal. So, what it is? I said this one is the power on. It is 3.4. And this one, this one is zero. You can see on the multimeter. So what do I want to do? I want to make a short there to bring 3.3 from the power on to the dim one. Hmm? Dodgy enough? Let's see. Let's see if this will be sent to ground. Uh, And yes, 1.2 volts. So it's going to ground. Okay, that's bad. Let's see here. And look, look at the backlight. You can't see. Sorry. Check here. Yeah, check here. So the backlight is coming on. Soon as I short this. Okay, so this truck is shorted to ground probably by the super IO. Uh, that's the case when, let's say, the dim is like completely off. But I can't turn it on. FN. No. It's not working at all. So I cannot bring uh, up the brightness. Okay, so what I will do, I will pull up that truck. And the screen will be always bright. Because what you can do, you know, just open the laptop and replace the Super I.O. Because that output of the Super I.O. is not doing what it's supposed to do. Kind of pointless, you don't think? Okay. So let's just make a bridge like always. So the screen is not faulty. The screen is fine. Usually when it's not backlight, actually the screen is fine and one of the signals are missing. Okay. So we will do a bridge from here to 
two here. These two are together anyway. Let me grab a wire. You see, always the wires are are solving the problem. The charger is unplugged, yeah? No, the charger it is plugged. Okay, let's unplug the charger. The charger is unplugged. Let's make that bridge. Uh, I want to, the bridge to be over that cap, so my wire cannot. Uh, get shorted by anything yeah so the bridge is done it's a nice bridge there let's see now let's see now let's plug the charger power on and we have backlight okay this is just an example to think out of the box now from what I see on the last video you know the jack wow I'm impressed there are so many pro people there but anyway I'm the dodgy one so I'm not saying fix a job like that like how I did, I did, yeah. But maybe, just maybe, if you have a case like the headphones one, and let's say the customer won the job on the same day and you don't have the headphone jack, maybe that video will be useful. For some people, that job is dodgy. From my point of view, it's better compared with the, what the manufacturer did, yeah. So remember the headphone jack? So what do we have now? Now we have a Apple headphone jack, which is obviously any Apple part is better than, uh, yeah, than anything. So we have a Apple uh, headphone jack, and which is uh, around the uh, cover with hot glue, which is you know it's eating any mechanical uh, uh, movement. You know what I mean. So from my point of view, it's better compared with what was there before, but. From other people's point of view is dodgy. Can be dodgy. I don't know. But maybe, just maybe, maybe on one day, one day, maybe you'll have that job. Yeah? And you don't have time to order the connector. And you have to do a dodgy job. <laughs> Trust me, that day you always come, you know, you have that kind of customer. Oh, I want it today. Look, I will pay a little bit extra. You can do it. And on that point, you don't want to be pro. You just want to be dodgy and get the job done. Like here. From our, my point of view, it's not worth to open this laptop and check that what that signal, why that signal is missing. No, no way. The job is done. We have backlight. Yeah. True, the customer cannot adjust the brightness, but that's the price. What well, the customer has to pay for a cheap job. It's, it's, not, it's not even a, about the money. It's, it's, I tried before to find this kind of faults and it's ending up on being a problem with the super eye which is not worth to replace the super eye on this one so i can fix it on on what on five minutes or i can spend a lot more money and a lot more time just to bring back the same uh, same uh, ending yeah to having uh, backlight so anyway one more time Power on.
possible this laptop have more problems so why is not coming on possible to have more problems because of the liquid damage I can see some keys uh, are sticky so why is not coming on let's try to reset the BIOS again But the power button is working, that's that's why it's strange, it's weird. No, or my charger is dodgy. Actually, I should try to find the problem. If we have 3.3 on the power button, you know, it is coming on because I reset the BIOS. Yeah, the keyboard is not working. Uh, F1 to enter the buyer. So yeah, probably that's the case why we, we, we don't have backlight. Escape to continue. Nothing. Yes. So the keyboard is gone. Hmm. Okay, this just for my info. Unplug the charger. So possible that fault to be because of the keyboard. Probably the can be like the backlight. The the the, the, the dim the dim button is pressed, and that's the reason why the super I/O is not uh, outputting the signal. So because of that. Because of that, let's take out the bridge and let's power up the laptop without the keyboard, yeah? It's stupid anyway, because it's not supposed to happen if the let's see, yeah. So we'll take this out. This bridge, yeah. So the bridge it's oh you can't see, sorry. So I took the bridge out, yeah, there is no bridge there. So let's try. Let's see if, 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 if that was the problem. I didn't know the keyboard is gone till now. So we took out the bridge. Let's plug the charger. And let's power up the laptop without the keyboard. And how we can do that is resetting the BIOS and the laptop is coming on by itself, yeah. Bus battery is out. Plug the bus battery back. It's on, the fan is spinning. It's beeping, but we still have no backlight. So, no, a new keyboard, it will not solve the problem. So we have no backlight, so yeah. So even if I fit a new keyboard, I will 
hold no backlight but it's very possible if I press the brightness up it's very possible to be working okay let's put back the bridge and when the new keyboard comes I will uh, see because obviously we have to order the keyboard it can be a lesson actually you think you have a fault or your keyboard is dead I didn't know the keyboard is dead because the power button was working and I couldn't see anything on the screen because there was no backlight I need some solder wire So we do have a bridge here. Okay, that's fine. Let's check one more time. Let's see. Plugging back the charger. And the laptop is not coming on but because we didn't reset reset the bias but let's find the the power on pin how do we find the power on pin yeah how we can find it ground now let's try to find a 3.3 .3 volts track here yeah No. Well, at 0 0.9 But the power button should be 3.3, .3, yeah? Or I'm wrong? Yeah, it should be 3.3 .3. one point eight. Can be 1.8 So let's try and short this 1.8 to ground. Yes, and it is coming on. Yeah? So that's how you check which is the power button uh, truck. Okay? Anyway, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye.